together can try. Hey, what's good, Green Party bookworms? This is Kenny Sanders of Ohio Green Party with a review for y'all today. But first, I want to say I made a you know, a couple of videos ago, a couple of books ago, I mentioned that I was having some girl problems. That was like around November of last year, where honestly, at the time, it was, my girl problems was like on total eclipse of the heart mode. Like, it was, I was feeling pretty much at the bottom of, you know, intimacy, of the realm of intimacy. But, you know, what I want to say is that this, this year has been much different. There's actually been a, a lot of uh, feminine energy in my, in my life. I've been spending most of my year with Megan Weird and her friends. And she even put me on with a book called The Four Agreements that she was gifted by a friend, which we read half through together, which was cool. And uh, my little homie Holly hooked it up with 365 Ways to Live the Law of Attraction. And this book is just such a wealth of information um you know forgive me for not getting to it sooner and everything and not doing more book reviews and all that but it's been a weird year and i'm gonna get back into reading a lot more books now and i'm gonna hit y'all with this review of the law of attraction right fast um and i want to say first off for, uh, for the green party you know i read these books a lot with the green party in mind and the law of attraction is something that I want to incorporate into the Green Party very much so. And reading this book was very eye-opening to me because I had maybe a misconception of what the law of attraction was and like what it all entails. And this book is just, first off, it was a hard to read book. You know, I'd usually take about two hours to read a 200 page book, but this one took longer because this, this one isn't like chapter after chapter. This is literally a list of laws of attraction and there's like 384 of them or something like that so you can't just read through it it's segment by segment so it took me a while i read over this book maybe like two or three times and <laughs> what the hell is happening in the universe um this book really like touches base on some like really like ancient esoteric knowledge and if you're in the metaphysics and everything law of attraction is totally for you it there's something about chi in here there's something about uh bioelectric polarity in here there's stuff about chakras there's a whole chapter about feng shui they talk about uh psychic energies uh you know that are stronger in some people and they talk about alchemy uh, I really liked how this book touched on alchemy. They talk about using alchemy with our thoughts. This book approaches thoughts as things. And by uh, the practices of alchemy, actually transforming, transmutating your thoughts into, into reality as they begin here as things, into your world as things. And so this book is talking all about uh, pretty much, you know, positivity, um, it talks about how, you know, even like speaking negative words can be incantations for negativity in oneself uh, and life and those around them. And it, it really just encourages people to, you know, kind of train your mind to think positively to attract that which you desire. And it, it's kind of like a satanic principle to like lead with desire. But in the Satanic Bible, it also talks about how desire and things like um, this can be in moderate usage, actually what emotions and feelings are all about and why we have them and why we use them. So I just can't go into depth enough about how deep this book is and how broad it is. I feel like if you read the self-help section in Barnes and Noble often and just pluck books out of there and read them, you're going to find all of that summarized in this book about the law of attraction and how to manifest your reality with practices of alchemy. And another thing, this book talks about Rosicrucians which is amazing to me. I love the Rosicrucians. I, I love the foundation of our country's association with Rosicrucians. And I, I love what um, John D has done for this world. And uh, shout out to Francis Bacon and 
fucking maybe even Queen Elizabeth. I don't know. But it's all there in this book. It's a damn good book. Wealth of information. I think everybody should read it. Uh, but be patient because it is a list of 385 ways to 365 ways to live the law of attraction. My dumbass, of course, it's the days in a year. It's 365 uh, checks on the list of how to live your life uh, according to the laws of attraction, incorporating all things metaphysical, esoteric, feng shui, chi, chakras. Rosa Crucians, everybody's in here. It it's honestly a feel good read. And even though there's 365 things to check on the list, you know, if you don't want to go into the context, just read through the list real real quick, right fast. You'll still take in a good uh a good encouraging wealth of information as you read along. So yeah, again, shout out to shout out to the Green Party. Shout out to the little homie Holly. Shout out to Megan Weird for spending all her time with me this year. And, um, you know, I'll be back with more books. I got to I gotta catch up on some climate change reading. As all, all things are green incorporated. And, um, you know, don't forget, we're working for world peace out here. Every, every word read, every sentence read, every paragraph absorbed is one more effort towards our global outreach to incite a state-by-state -state peace on earth that we can all contribute to and carry as we make our decisions moving forward of how the human race is to evolve itself or something i don't know but i'm in i'm in my triangle park out here i used to meditate out here many moons ago and that's why there's blue in the sky have a good day y'all love you